So, hey. solve the inequality. Another one. So, guess what? It's already broken up, and it's actually not as horrible as it looks. Right. Absolute values. Oh, no, that's terrible. But wait. Everything's positive. With absolute value. Yeah. Right. right. So, what happens here is x minus 2 equals 0 on top. So, our 0 would zero. be a 2. Yeah. But also, where the bottom here equals 0, what's inside the absolute value, that's going to be important. So, so negative three. Yeah, and so that's still on the bottom of vertical asymptote. And what what we're doing is because we're saying that x plus three in the absolute value is equal to zero. Well, normally we have to account for like a positive and negative case when we have absolute value, but zero is not positive or negative. Uh, so you're darn tootin' it's not. That's why it's so easy to solve. So sign chart. Absolute oh. value probably, right? Should Ow. I stick the absolute value here? I think my right, right, that was my right shoulder. That that was your right shoulder. You're absolutely my, my right. right. My writing shoulder. I can't. Oh, you're right. I can't, I can't write anymore on this one. <laughs> yeah, sign chart. Man, I'm gonna have to go on the IR. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick in order negative three and two to be our zeros. So then you pick numbers on yep. either side, just like what we've just been like, doing. Just like yep, it's no different. So if I plug in negative four here, I get a negative. Right. Here, though, I get Every, a negative, but then it makes it positive. Absolute value. Everything that comes out is going to be In positive. In fact, we could go ahead yeah, and Yeah, all just, those. Well, bam. All of those are right, positive. Right, right So then, zero, you plug in, and you get yep, negative. Yep, yep. You wanted to tell them to come in. You apparently have Sun chips are hot Cheetos. Sun chips are fine. Thanks. You're the best. And then a negative times a positive is a negative. Negative times a positive is a negative. Positive times a positive is a positive. And hey, looky there. So we're all done except for now we have to figure out where we're less than or equal to zero. Right. So we're definitely less than in these two intervals. And we're equal to here at two. The question is, are we actually equal to at negative three? You know, we're not because we're undefined at that point. And because that's, it's the bottom because of it's, the fraction. Yeah, you're on the bottom. And so you've got to really pay attention to that or that'll be an oops that you'll make. So. Yeah. So we go from negative infinity to negative three. To negative three, but we don't include negative three. No, can't include negative three. And then we go from negative three to two, but we do include two because right. two is zero. That is correct. There you have it.